Is gravitational force always negative? This is a very common question that my students ask me. And the answer is it depends. But what does it depend on? Well, let's say I'm standing here on the Earth's surface. Or let's, let's have it be somebody else. We'll give, I don't know, he has a mullet. It's a mullet guy, okay? So mullet man is standing there. And his force of gravity always goes towards the center always goes towards the center of the earth. That's always going to be the case, unless you're on another planet, but it'll always go towards the center of whatever that planet is. Determining whether this is positive or negative depends on what our axis is set up as. If we do a standard axis where we're saying Y positive is going up and X positive goes to the right, well then in this case, yes, FG, is going to be negative. Okay. Now there are situations, however, let's say, uh, let's take our mullet man and let's now put mullet man on an incline. Okay. So now mullet man is standing on an incline. Okay. Here's mullet man and uh, maybe it's Joe Dirt and he's standing on an incline. Well, even if he's on an incline, his force of gravity is going to go down towards the center of the earth. But as you learned in incline problems, and if you haven't learned it yet, go ahead and ask me about them. I'll get some great, one, some great incline problems up there. It's easier to deal with incline problems when we put our axis on the same angle as the incline. And in this case, we're going to, to do our force summation we're going to want to break up our force of gravity into our y component, or in this case, the perpendicular component to the incline, and our x component. Well, in this case, we have um, our fgy component, which would be this guy right here, fgy component. Well, fgy is going to be negative. However, our x component, fgx, is going to be positive. So in this case, we have one component of gravity that's positive. Again, force of gravity always goes down towards the center of the Earth. However, it's really going to depend on where you place that axis as to how you're, um, how you're going to define whether that force of gravity is positive or negative. Let me give you another example here. Okay, we had some global issues that I had to straighten out there. As you can see, the Earth is back to how it should be. Uh, let's say, for example, we have a pulley problem. So I have one box on top of another box, and it is attached. Okay, we just had a short visitation from my son there. Thank you very much, turtle guy. Okay, so we have a pulley problem here. Well, as you know, pulley problems are best done with uh, defining your axes, let's say our top axes, we put a standard axis for box B. However, you're going to want to rotate that axis around. I'm sorry, standard axis for box A, but you're going to want to rotate that axis around the pulley in order to analyze box B. And we can do that. And I'm going to show you right here. I'm just going to erase half of the earth. Um, don't worry. I don't think it was on the half that you were, uh, you were on. But let's say we have box A and box B. We're going to do our free body diagrams. I told you we put a standard axis on box A. Well, box B, that axis is going to rotate right around. So for box B, our axis will actually look like this. Well, in both cases, the force of gravity still acts down towards the center of the Earth. Okay, so this would be the force of gravity of box A and the force of gravity of box B. It still acts down towards the center of the Earth. However, in this case, it's going in the opposite direction as we define positive Y. So FGA here will be pot oops, will be negative because it's in the opposite direction. However, FG over here is going to be positive because it's going in the same direction as our axes. So the answer to the question is FG is always pointed down towards the center of the earth. However, the sign is going to depend on your axis position.